What's up, everybody? This is Kyle with Measure Twice Media. Um, I just want I'm sending this email because this is a new update, which is going to be awesome because it's going to make it easier for you all to manage your own website and basically order me around what you would like me to do. Um, so I'm excited to talk to you about it. Um, business is going well. I'm, I mean, we're growing. We have. Uh, multiple clients and we're, we're really excited to continue to grow and to continue to offer you guys um, better and better service. So uh, today what we're specifically talking about is we're talking about making changes to your website. And what that means is um, design changes, changing text, changing images, the way something looks, I mean, whatever it may be that you need help or that you want to make a change to. Um, the way it currently goes is whenever you need changes, you have to reach out to me via email or set up a phone call and we walk through it one by one and it just it's not that fast and it's not that efficient and I want to spend less time doing basic design work and more time marketing your business. So this is an update and it's going to be extremely uh, beneficial for you all and I'm excited to show you how it works. So the software that I'm using for it is it's called UserBack and you'll notice up here in my extension bar I have a ton of extensions and that's because um, I'm a nerd and that's why I'm your I'm your marketer I'm your computer guy I do a lot of different stuff um, but the one that you're gonna be installing um, to work with this is called user back and if you look in the instructions that are in the, with the email that's associated with this video um, I will give you a specific code and um, a link so that you can download user back apply my code and then every edit that you ever make will get sent directly to me so I can get to it as quickly as possible. All right, so how does it work? So how it works is I'm on my website just to show you guys um, an example, but this is, you will be able to do this with your own websites and you, you'll be on this website. Let's go ahead and scroll down here because I know there's a few things I want to change um, and I'm going to show you how it works. So we just go ahead and we click that button up at the top. When we click that, we're going to see this menu here. And there's going to be a whole bunch of different options we can highlight, we can black out, we can use a pencil, we can do a line, we can do an arrow, we can do text. And so there's a bunch of different options, but I'm just going to show you how it basically works. So when we find a part of a web page that we want to edit, we are able to basically just draw on the screenshot and, and say what we want to do. So for example, I, I don't like, I, I, I need to add some sort of image down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to say, I, I want some sort of image or illustration here. Two text heavy. Perfect. So I press save. Awesome. So that's number one. Let's see other things I can change. So here's another one that I like. I'm going to go ahead and click the text button. You'll see this number two right here. I, I don't know why that's the number two. I, I would rather it be the word two. I just think it's a little bit more professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, can you please change this to word two? Perfect. That's easy. Um, and then lastly, one of the things I don't really like the, the controller here, right? So I'm going to use the arrow and I'm going to draw an arrow to this. Please find a substitute for this icon. All right. So those changes that I made, sorry, I can't spell substitute. This icon, I press save. So there's three changes that I made right here. Obviously, you can do as many as you would like on the page. Um, one thing I do want to say is that you can't scroll. So it's taking a screenshot specifically of what we can see right now. And how we do is we would send these updates and then we would find another part of our website that we want to make changes to and we would do the same process over again. So this is just, these are the changes that I want to make on my website. And this is exactly how you would go about making changes on yours. And then when we're done with the screenshot, we're going to go ahead and press the green capture button. And what that's going to do is it's going to associate the image. It's going to allow us to give us a review of our experience. Um, it's possible that I might find a way to remove this, but for now, just always give me five stars. I'd love that. You enter your email and then you leave a comment and say, Thanks. Or if there's any other comments that you want to say, uh, let me know if you have any feedback. Um, and then if you would like, you can say to receive updates. So as we make changes and as we update your website, you can get an email um, that lets us know that we're done. So we go ahead and we press send. And 
Perfect. So it sent the feedback. How it works is that gets sent to my backlog. Um, and I have a backlog of all the websites that I manage and all the changes that are needed to make. We, I go, th I'm constantly going through that. Um, and what I've been telling people is as of right now, I'm being cautious and I'm saying whatever updates you submit, we should be able to make those updates within 72 hours. Um, it's possible that see if that could go up or down. It really just depends on how everything works out, how many people are using the feature and how many people have changes that they're making on a consistent basis. Um, the idea with this though is that I, I want to provide you with a, a better service rather than a lot of a lot of you I think have been um, ca cautious to make updates to your website because you don't want to bother me or you don't want to send me an email or you don't want to play email tag or you don't want to schedule a time to get on the phone whatever it may be um, but you this will hopefully make it now easier than ever before it's also going to make it more time efficient for me um, and then i can spend more time doing the stuff that's really going to help you to grow your business so if you have any questions about this please go ahead and let me know uh, i mean I'm, I'm excited to roll this out follow the instructions that are associated with this email and you can get squared away and you can get started on sending me orders on how to update your website. All right, thanks again, everybody. And I hope that everyone is having an incredible week.